The title of this highlight is about growing perennial biomass crops on marginal land that improves agricultural productivity and a regional climate. Our work is supported by NSF Infuse. Our fundamental goal is to address what challenges are posed on US agriculture by the impact of climate and land use change on food, energy, water nexus systems. Specifically, we want to answer three key questions. Is expansion of biomass crops on marginal land a possible climate adaptation strategy? How would this land use impact regional climate? How would the resulting regional climate change impact the biomass production? This requires the development and application of a fully coupled climate, hydrology, agriculture, economy, system modeling framework that can represent the food, energy, water, nexus issues of inter interdependency, teleconnection, and scale complexity. We have already developed this framework, evaluated it for the perennial biomass crop miscances against observed yields in multiple sites across the US. We also determine the regional climate responses in the heartland of US agriculture to the growing miscances on marginal land, quantify the impacts of the two-way in feedback on the overall crop productivity in the heartland. To understand the interaction and teleconnection involved in the field nexus, we conduct three major experiments. The control by seawolf standalone integration, the one way by bio close standalone driven by seawolf, the two way seawolf bio -clo coupled integration driven by ERA reanalysis. We found that growing miscances over marginal land can result in significant cooling, more rainfall, and a lower water vapor pressure deficit, which favor overall crop production in the heartland of US agriculture. Without considering this positive feedback, we would underestimate both crop, food crop yield on the heartland and a biomass yield on the marginal land. This marginal land use not only prevents soil erosion, offsets carbon emissions, and provides feed stock for renewable products, but also improves adverse climate change impacts on food production, serving as a promising mitigation strategy to sustain US agriculture. Thanks.